Hey guys and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at um, Sayerbeck. Uh, this map can be found over at the farmingsimulator.com uh, website. It is in the beta section I believe and it is available for PC and Mac only. Uh, this map was uh, recently released and uh, let's uh, read the description of the map. It says the Sutterbeck map was cre recreated one to one ratio and now finds its way into uh, farming Simulator 17. After more than three years of construction and sometimes longer breaks, the map is now ready for you. Uh, what awaits you on this map? There's over 80 fields, uh, realistic fields and narrow streets, a large cow yard with plenty of space for machines, a large BGA, three sub points, uh, the doors, all the doors can be opened. Uh, lights operate on the buildings. Uh, chopped straw is installed on this map. Uh, animals, the cows and pigs and chickens. Uh, so we may need to look to see. They don't list sheep at all, so we may need to see if there is a sheep area. Uh, many forests which have, uh, which still have to be reforested. Okay, that that last bit doesn't make much sense, but let's just go ahead and jump on into the map. We're gonna pick up our John Deere Gator. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the log. Again, uh, ignore these three warnings. They relate to a mod and a map uh, that is not a part of this particular video. So the map is loading up. Error free. Uh, there's a little bit of starting equipment, but not a whole lot. All right. So here we are. So we basically start on our front porch here, our back porch. And uh, this map does have gold. I uh, did a, a video earlier today and misspoke. Uh, I basically for, was thinking that map was this map. Uh, this map does have gold, and they are very easy to find the first 10 nuggets. Uh, when I was exploring this map earlier this week, I had no trouble at all uh, finding the gold nuggets uh, during my simple exploration. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map. So it's uh, quite a lot of fields. A lot of fields are very close together. Uh, we have our standard crop types on this map. Uh, it looks like we own fields 17 and 25. Uh, so not a lot of fields we own at the start, and 17 is pretty darn little. Let's, uh, uh, you can see it's, it's, it looks like it's just a grass, a little grass meadow. Uh, so we basically own one field if you will, at the start. So I do not believe that this map is Seasons prepared. Uh, so that means that you can still play this map with Seasons if you wish. Uh, it just won't have a snow mask. So if it does snow on the, on the map, uh, you will see snow in the buildings uh, and under various other things. Uh, bale rotting will be disabled with the exception of, of grass. Grass will still rot if you play with Seasons. Uh, it's just if... Uh, if it rains and you have hay or straw bales, uh, they won't rot if they are out from underneath a building, uh, simply because without a snow mask, Seasons does not know uh, if you're under a roof or not. So here we have three main cell points on this map. Uh, we also have a cell point for wool and wood chips and hay, straw, and grass, and the bios gas plant takes um, potatoes, sugar beets, as well as manure, slurry, and silage. So all of most of our equipment here is fairly old. It has a lot of operating hours. You're going to be paying a lot of maintenance uh, for this equipment. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Let's go ahead and take out a loan. So we can buy up some critters. And it looks like we have all three animals on this map. Uh, the description did not say uh, sheep. So we're going to need to explore and see if we find a sheep pen. We've got pigs, cows, and sheep. Uh, nothing as far as starting animals. 
Uh, we do have nuggets again, and we have 100,000 liters in our silo as far as storage goes. All right, let's take a look at that starting fleet. Uh, we start out with three tractors, ranging horsepower from 125 to 145 horsepower. We have the Case IH Harvester. Again, it has a fair bit of hours on it. Um, this is our grain header. We've got the Metal Tech Tipper, uh, the standard cultivator, Great Plains Cedar. Uh, looks like we start with a vehicle workshop and a, uh, a power washer also. So let's go ahead and buy up our gator. We're going to lease him. Let's check where the store is. So here's the shop. Let's go ahead and reset the gator and see what happens. Where does he show up at? So the gator is back at the main shop, or main farm. Uh, we should see him somewhere. Uh, the door opens. Uh, here we have a uh, water point. Here we have our chickens. Looks like we're going to have to try to find our eggs through uh, this awful mess of grass. I never look forward to that. Got a little bit of graffiti on the side of this building. And uh, this is our silo fill point. And it looks like this will be our silo empty point. We do start with some seed and fertilizer on this map. Uh, looks like we have two pallets of fertilizer. And a couple pallets of seed and a uh, pallet of uh, liquid fertilizer. Uh, there's our reset point right here, right by the uh, fuel tank. Let's go ahead and explore the rest of this uh, farm here. These doors operate. Uh, we've got a fairly large shed here. Uh, they did say that the lights work. The lights do come on. Go ahead and uh, come on out of here. So here's the uh, repair shop that's in our inventory. Move some stuff around. All right, so we have here. When I was, I thought this was rather interesting. I haven't seen this on another map. It's kind of a, a painted. Uh, um, like electrical box or uh, or whatever. Also thought that this map had some custom textures in place because uh, the the crops in the fields looked uh, looked a bit different than they normally do. So here we have one of our silage bunkers uh, here for the cow area. And if we go down and around here, we will find um, other bunkers. So here's another one. And here's another one. And then we have another storage shed here. Another light switch. I'm trying to open these doors, but uh, they only open from the outside. Looks like these doors only open from the outside, so don't find yourself locked inside. That would be very bad. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the uh, cow area. This is where you're going to buy your cows. And uh, there's a nugget already. Here we've got our Moo Moo's, a very small Moo Moo yard. Let's 
Let's go ahead and uh, go on in the building. So let's see there. We've got a, a long trough for our silage feed. Let's see if we can figure out where we water our cows. Looks like they have a water trough over here. And the grass trough over here as well. Alright, well that's pretty much the main farm. Uh, we've got a water trigger here probably. Uh, here's our slurry pit. And our... I wonder where our manure pit is. We haven't found that yet, have we? There's another nugget. And our power washer. So I'm wondering if maybe this is where our manure will pile up. So that's the main farm. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump on in our gator. <coughs> let's zoom out here and try to uh, let's take a look at the map this way. Try to develop a plan of action. Looks like we'll uh, go up here and uh, go over here to the Bawa uh, cell point and then try to make our way around um, to some of these other various cell points. We do have sheep on the map here and pigs, uh, so we'll try to make our way around in this kind of general direction and uh, see if we can't uh, end our tour here at the pig area. <clears throat> This is actually my first time driving around this map. Uh, the first time that I looked at this map, I just uh, kind of jumped from, from place to place. Uh, this map does have custom um, map for sale icons and mission icons. And um, <clears throat> when I was looking at this map, uh, all the fields that I looked at said no mission available. Uh, so I'm wondering if maybe missions are disabled on this map. Uh, simply because usually there's at least one field that has some type of a mission on it. Uh, this field 27 has is almost six hectares and it's four hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars. Field 14 down here is uh, two point eight eight hectares, two hundred thirty three thousand dollars. So it looks like uh, the the road here is lined with trees, so I don't want to, uh, I have a hard time seeing through the trees, so we're going to kind of jump down into first person for a little bit of this driving. Got a fairly large field 13 off to the side here. Uh, we've got random windmills. <coughs> Our uh, wind, um, I guess you call them windmills. Um, that's a rather interesting. I'm not really sure what this uh, <clears throat> this cone shape is here for, but uh, at any rate, random windmills. Uh, scattered throughout the map and uh, some of them are taking interesting chunks out of fields uh, for example field 27 uh, has a windmill kind of set into it All right, so here we have a uh, one of our forest areas on the map uh, we've got a, uh, a shed here to support our forestry equipment Looks like we've got some really nice to find uh, roads, paths, paths through the forestry area. Um, the 
the map has something <coughs> drawn further in here, so I thought we would uh, maybe drive back in here and see what that was. There it is. Is this a, a sawmill? Possibly? It looks like this is a sawmill. There's one of those infamous nuggets that's uh, scattered all over. And again, they are very easy to find. Uh, this does not appear to be a working sawmill. It just appears to be a a sawmill structure in the uh, in the forest. It's a nice, interesting touch. All right, let's keep making our way around the map. <coughs> So here's another very interesting shaped field, uh, field 11. You can see field 11 is, is a rather interesting shape, as is 12. There are some rather interesting uh, field shapes here. Field 11 is 8.8 .8 hectares, $700,000. There we are in a tree. <coughs> So the roads, I've seen narrow roads, so these, these aren't too terrible bad. Again, we still have field 11 off to our side here, and then field 10 is uh, on the other side of this road. bit of uh, map grass that we can uh, take advantage of here, I believe. And again, let me uh, get out of here so you can kind of see what I'm saying about the uh, custom textures. Um, right here, this is canola. And this does not look like in-game canola as best as I can remember. <clears throat> Unless I've been playing on a bunch of maps as of late that have the exact same custom canola texture, this is definitely different. Alrighty. Let's see where we are on the map. Alright, we just need to keep going this way, and eventually we'll make it to the Bawa. Uh, or however you pronounce that. I want to jump in cab because we're really not seeing much when we are, are driving down this road with the trees on either side of it. And we'd probably miss things like this. Interesting frog with a crown, not graffiti, on this structure. A very nice touch. Uh, brings a, uh, a bit of... Uh, of reality into the into the map. <laughs> got large rocks, large boulders um, scattered around. Here we've got a uh, a truck next to some uh, lumber piles. Next to fields five and six. And it looks like that might lead us back to a uh, forested area. Uh, there's a uh, gold nugget on that rock just sitting there. And then beyond the forested area it looks like there's a grass field. You gotta get through the forested area to get to the grass field. I really like when uh, those types of uh, details are in maps. Uh, I said that during one of the uh, map reviews of one of the contest maps that I really liked it when you had to uh, kind of drive through a, uh, a forested area in order to get to a field. Uh, very indicative of real life where you may have a uh, 
you drive through a, a densely treed area on a back road or maybe a road that's cut through a treed area uh, just to get to a clearing that may have a, uh, a large or small field in it. So here we are at the Bawa uh, cell point. Come in here and uh, tip. There's another gold nugget. Uh, we could easily pick up 10 nuggets within a very short time period here. Uh, so you will have no difficulty in finding gold nuggets. We're not going <clears> to <throat> bother picking them up simply because I don't want them to clutter up my map uh, during the video. And I kind of stopped doing uh, the gold nugget hunt videos. They, they didn't seem to get a lot of uh, interest. Uh, there weren't a lot of uh, comments or uh, views on those, so I just decided that uh, maybe no one was really interested in watching me hunt down nuggets, and uh, everyone figured they could hunt the nuggets themselves. So, like I said, if you want to find the nuggets, they're very easy to find to get the first 10. Uh, there are no apparent tricks or, uh, or hidden nuggets that I have found so far on the map. Plenty of treed, tree lined roads here. And uh, let's check and see if these uh, have collisions. Oh, they don't. That's a little disappointing. Because uh, I was kind of hoping that these would be collisioned. We'll just drive through another one just to check. Nope. So, uh, you won't have any problem with hired workers on fields that have these power towers uh, through them because you can just drive right on through them. We'll just do it another time. There we just drew, drove through the support posts. So if you like to use hired help, don't be discouraged uh, by the fact that there are... Does this field have collisions? This, uh, that... Uh, well, that um, fence does have collisions. We've got a fair bit of traffic through this road. Now, this may be the only road on the uh, map with traffic. Let's uh, hurry up and get around him. And make our way to the animal buy point. Up here. So this is a rather interesting animal buy point. Uh, might be rather interesting with all of this traffic. Does this traffic even end? Is it just a constant row of cars? I think there's a, maybe a break in it. Um, but this cell point may be rather difficult to get to. <clears throat> There's our trigger. With all of this traffic on the map and the fact that you're going to have to back your trailer up into this area, because uh, there's definitely no driving up into here and pulling around. Uh, this might be a very difficult cell point to get into uh, with this much traffic on the map. All right, looks like we have another cell point coming up as well as the store. All right. Whoa, that car is kind of parked out in the middle of the road. Don't enter a sign here. There must be a different uh, entrance into this cell point. Here we can sell our eggs, and here's where we uh, tip our grain. Yep, looks like I uh, I missed the entrance and I came in the exit, but anyway, that works. Here's your uh, here's your basketball hoop if you want to do a three-point shot. Now I seriously have to be careful that I don't get those other four nuggets. Uh, nope. All right. Ah, look at that fun. So here we have another cable being pulled down into the uh, underground. That's pretty cool. I like that. 
Oh, we just passed the store. Let's uh, let's get turned around so we can take a look at the store. I guess we could uh, we could drive up here on the uh, side of the road. Does the store have an entrance off of here? I don't see an entrance off of there, so we just uh, we'll just turn around real quick. Like I said, first time I went through this map, uh, I haven't driven on the map up until now. I just kind of jumped around. Um, here we go. Right, so here is our repair and sell point. And our shop. So it looks like we've got a fairly large yard here for our vehicles to spawn in. This might be rather difficult to get out with a really long trailer. All right. So again, this traffic is very heavy. It's almost uh, it's almost on the side of excessively heavy. You know, to pull out from the store. Uh, to get a clearing would be pretty difficult, I think. Uh, definitely backing up into the animal buy point would be pretty difficult. <laughs> those, uh, those trash cans are being pushed all the way down the uh, road here. So here is uh, field 25. This is one of the fields that we own right here. Or this is technically the only field we own uh, because the other field that we own is fairly small. Let's just go ahead and drive up there and see if we can see how big field 17 is. We didn't really explore that uh, when we were up here. So this is field 17. This little area right here, it does look like it can be fertilized. Uh, but this little postage stamp of, of grass is uh, field 17. So like I said, you only really own one field, and it's right here. Um, so this really would not be a very good map to load seasons into uh, if you wanted to pretty much do anything other than logging. Uh, because you only own one field, it will take you a very short time period to prepare that one field. And then you're going to have to sit around for multiple game days waiting for that field to... Uh, to go through its growth states. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn on in here. Let's see if we can't get to the sawmill through this area. Alright, All right, looks like the sawmill has its own main road entrance. <coughs> Here's where you're going to be selling your wood chips. Selling point for wood, logs, and then this is the sell point for wood chips. Oh, that fence doesn't have a collision on it either, thankfully. Alrighty, let's uh, get on out of here. Make our way down to the biogas plant. Again, here's a here's that here's a field that has a um, windmill right set within the field. So you see here, the field is kind of separated, cut in half, if you will, uh, by this windmill. This windmill does have collisions. And trees, so obviously you will have to uh, figure out how best to drive this with hired help. Again, the uh, the power tower is not collidable, but the uh, the windmill that chunks out this field definitely is. Let's 
see if these have collisions. They do not. That's another disappointment. Seriously. If you're going to put impediments like this in the field, I'd really like to see um, them block you. Well, this has some type of a collision, but I just drove through it. So, uh, does that stop me? No. Well, that's an interesting structure up there on the hill. It's part of the, uh, I guess, the sawmill area. I do like the uh, the view here. The rolling hills, the the power lines running through the fields, these little sheds and uh, lookout buildings. But uh, it would really go a long way to uh, to have these things be collidable. Instead, I can just warp right through them. Uh, warp right through this fence. Oh, this fence has a collision. But this fence over here doesn't. interesting. This, this little section that I drove through did. I think I can drive through that section. So again, it, it's, it's, it's a little bit disappointing. Um, oh, I thought this was an entrance to the BGA, but instead it's a field. It's rather interesting that the road would be painted going into the field. Alright, let's see if we can find out how to get into the BGA then. Oh, there is a trash can. It's been <laughs> it's been knocked and drugged all the way across the map. That's pretty great. Alright, so here we have our BGA. Open the door. We have an interesting informational sign here, I guess explaining to you the process of the biogas plant. There's a nugget right there. come in, go over our weigh scale. We see we weigh uh, 2,246 pounds. We should not weigh that much. This thing should not weigh anywhere near that much. All right. There's our digestate fill level. Uh, you're not seeing anything weird. This is not a interesting 3D map. The trigger is a bit off the ground here, or at least the markers are. We have, again, two, three, uh, three-walled BGA bunkers, uh, like another map that we looked at recently. Let's see if we can figure out where the Silo King is. Is it around here? Okay. Uh, it's probably in here. Yep. All right, so here's our Silo King. We've already found our digestate and our um, bunkers. So what I was alluding to when I when I said that this map really wasn't a good map for seasons play as it was um, set up is that with seasons really you need. Um, more than just a small number of fields. You really need probably six or more fields. Six to seven fields to uh, start out with, uh, with seasons, because of the, uh, oh, look at that big old, is that, I wonder if that's supposed to have water in it. That is a big old ditch here. Either this is supposed to have, I think this is definitely supposed to have water in it. We've got floating clods of uh, grass here, but we don't see any water. Um, with Seasons Play, since uh, there's such a long time between planting and harvest, uh, that you really need a fair bit to do uh, without running, basically running out of things to do. Uh, so really, maps that give you just a small number of fields to start out with they may be good for normal play because you could probably turn on normal growth or fast growth and be uh, plant and harvest within 
you know, a game day or two. But uh, with seasons, you're not going to be doing that. You're going to be uh, planting and waiting several game days, even with the shortest season length, uh, to come through. So here we've got the uh, sell point. Go ahead and loop on around here. Can't see where we're going. All right, we're just going to follow this road down, I guess. Yeah, you know, we've got more construction and stuff going on alongside the road. I like I like the detailing in the map. It's just I wish uh, I wish the stuff in the fields had collisions. Uh, makes me wonder if these trees. Well, they do. At least that one does. You know, it almost makes me wonder if those trees have collisions on them, but uh, that one did. I uh, like the custom textures of the crops. That's nice. Yeah, I really do like the lay of the land, if you will, the rolling, the rollingness of the land. Um, it looks like we're gonna let's cut through here and see if we can't make our way down. Yeah, the, the irregularity of the fields where we've got um, big boulders that are taking chunks out of the field. Um, I like all of those aspects. What do we have up in here? Let's just come on up in here and see what we got. These are just some buildings that are uh, dropped down in the middle of a forested area. It's quite a quite a hill through here. All right, let's see if we can't uh, figure out where we're going. There's, this appears to be a dirt road, so let's go ahead and take this road. Seems to connect up to a uh, another paved area. All right. So again, let's check, and uh, we need to go down. We need to find our way down south. To uh, what hopefully will be the uh, sheep area. All right, now this is a bit of a disappointment. The sheep area is a bit of a disappointment. Because um, there it is. Right here, no. There's your water trough. And your buy point is right here between the two troughs. And then here's your grass trough. And that's all he got. That's the little area for sheep. I don't know where the, the wool spawns. I don't know if it spawns over here. Uh, I don't know if it spawns uh, maybe over here. It would make sense that maybe it would spawn over here. But there really isn't that much space uh, for it to spawn. Because the poor sheep, they barely have an area there to their own. Let's uh, back on around and see if we can't make our way to the uh, to the pigs. We have to go up here to the road and uh, make a left and uh, keep on going down the road hopefully and we'll find our way to the piggies. So let me know what you all think about this map in the comments. Uh, do you like the map? I really like that 
that field there where it's uh, kind of leaning up against the hill. There's, I guess, two fields there uh, that are kind of uh, running along the, uh, the hillside. fields are nice um, you know I think this could be a really great map with a few few alterations uh, you know adding the collisions to the stuff in the field uh, I don't think we necessarily need a lot of this stuff tree lined um, as much as it is it does add a nice element to the map but for people that don't like driving first person it might make it driving difficult So we're coming up to the uh, to the pig area now. Let's go ahead and uh, come on in here. You know the the density of the traffic are going is going to make it difficult to uh, back into the animal buy point. If you do want to pick up your own animals that might make it rather difficult to do that uh, the dense traffic on that street might make it difficult to come out with uh, so here's your slurry point again the uh, the markers are elevated above the ground um, we've got a BGA bunk or a chaff or silage bunker if you will uh, down here at the pig area we've got our manure pit and here's our feeding trough. Here's our animal buy point or sell point, unload point, whatever you want to call it. Then we have our water trough here, and then we have our our pig area. The pigs have this nice uh, nice roof here that they can get in under. Wouldn't really call it a shed; it's more or less a uh, a roof they can get up under. And I'm thinking. But this hopefully is a, sh a storage building that we can uh, get into. Well, now it looks like it's just a structure that's taking up space. Uh, not really a functional building. Would be nice if this was a functional building that you could store things in. Uh, given that you're so far away from everything else. You know, the, uh, this is obviously a map where the person intends you to use to have cattle. Uh, because the sheep are way down here, and it's just a fenced-in grass area. Uh, the pigs are way down here, and you get a, a bunker for some reason, a silage bunker, a building that you can't do anything with. Uh, there's no real place to store any type of equipment down here that you would use to support your pig operation. Uh, so to feed these pigs, you're going to be driving all over the place uh, to get to this. Uh, it does look like there is a fairly large grass field over here. Let's go ahead and check that out before we uh, close out. So here's where we would buy buy it. 10.3 uh, hectares, $840,000 for this thing. Uh, but it... Mm, field 58 looks like it might be the biggest field on the map. Let's check that out. Um, 8.4. It is not the biggest. Field 78 is the biggest. Very, well, let's check out field 12. That's kind of long. 9. Let's check out field 11. 8. Again. Field 10. Or field 78. Um, 5. I think these field sizes are off. Um... That's 1.2. Again, this is a really looks like a custom uh, wheat texture here. All right, so that's the map. Uh, that is um, Sarbeck. Again, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but uh, it's Sarbeck. It's over at the FarmingSimulator.com uh, website in the beta section in the mod hub. So until next time, happy farming.